Hey everybody, welcome to Socially Distant Improv. Uh, we are Dreamweaver. We are uh, we are here to do an improvised two act play for you all. Um, it's going. To, yeah, it, it could, it's probably going to be dramatic, but you know, you, you never know what's going to happen with this crew. So, I asked Facebook for a suggestion. And we actually got a really good one on the first try. Although one friend warned us, as I told y'all, there's a pandemic, people should not be gathering. That's our suggestion, at least people are gathering. And our wonderful friend, Alicia Lee, suggested high tea. Ooh, so an afternoon, okay. An afternoon tea, uh, we present Dreamweaver. Um, my, 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 my fiance brought me and don't want to let her know, but I'm really excited. I love tea. I love tea. I, I worry that some people think it's, you know, it's not like a guy thing. I'm the only guy here, but, um, I'm going to have fun in this tea. I'm going to, I'm going to enjoy it. I just hope I don't, I don't, you know, like show too much excitement. I am supposed to be meeting my daughter's fiance today, and I am really concerned because uh, Penelope has been bringing home some really, really interesting people. So this time she thinks she's found love, <laughs> as she said so many other times. Um, but, you know, I said, Andrea, we will keep a good head about ourselves and be positive. I'm really more of a coffee person, but if Garrett likes tea, then why not have a high tea? There's lots of snacks and everybody kind of likes tea, right? Even if you're a, a coffee person, bean person <laughs> right right that's my hope um anyway maybe a peppermint it's like an intro tea mm. uh look um i'm just real happy that my cousin invited me to come to this, this tea thing um <laughs> got my hat <laughs> i'm be honest with y'all i've never been to tea ceremony but uh looking forward to it you know i um i don't drink a lot of tea down in arkansas we don't drink a lot of, lot of tea um but uh you know i was in town i was in town for uh, my brother's uh little homecoming thing and thought why not why not come on a high tea <laughs> so um looking forward to it i just i everybody says garrett could you go to starbucks no i don't go to starbucks i I have my own, my own pots, my own steeper. I have, I, I like the loose. Some days I like the loose. Some days I just want, I just, I just want a bag. It just makes me feel good. It makes me feel good. Muted. I worry about Penelope. I do. I worry about her. Oh, she changed her major so many times. At one point, she thought she was bisexual, then she was straight, then she was, I don't, I don't know what's going on. It's just amazing. Um, she doesn't even ask how me and her father are doing anymore. I mean, we have so many things going on with our finances. We just need her to stay focused so that we can stay the course. But I'll try to enjoy this, this high tea. I do love a good tea. And all of the cakes are really nice. There's just so many different things to try out. And, you know, I, I've been a coffee person, but I could, I could be a tea person. I know my mother thinks I'm wishy-washy and I need to let down roots or something like that. I can't say that I know the idiom exactly, uh, but I'm sure about Garrett, I'm super sure. 
You know, the crazy thing about roads is that they'll take you just about anywhere you want to be. Um, even if you uh, didn't plan on being there, you uh, end up there. Because it's the road you just on. So let's just say I hopped on 95 back two days ago and here I am. So uh, surprise. <laughs> and at least I'm in a comfort zone when I meet Everyone her family. That's, her. that's what's important. Uh, I need a vacation. <laughs> have all the nice mugs. I feel like I am raging yeah, just her all enough. over you. Every it can be bigger. It can be smaller. I like it's a tea. Just a tea. I'm really not set on an exact like family together. I don't know, man. No big deal. Hope he has a job at least. Cut to Garrett and the cousin outside the uh, outside the the mansion where this is happening. So, you you came all the way from from Arkansas. Uh, the road took me there. <laughs> wow, that's that's fan. That's amazing. I I mean, they, this doesn't seem like your thing, but I appreciate you coming. I appreciate you you having a good time. I I do want to say though. I made sure one thing I, I I insisted on was that they have like real sandwiches, not those little, not those little ones. You look like you enjoy a good sandwich. Well, I, I sure do. I love a good sandwich. Um, and then catfish or uh, maybe some pulled pork. Uh, up I, here, any anything will do. I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty starving and get anything on the road. So oh, that's good. That's good. I, do you have any Do you have any pointers? for Penelope's mom, like how I can like make her like me. I just, I always, I'm, this is like the hardest part of a relationship. Like you seem like I can talk to you, but a mom, man, that's, it's tough. Well, I got two things I got to say to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Don't get her pregnant. <laughs> and if you do get her pregnant, well, you got to be a man about it. Okay. I had to meet back in the, yeah, back in the seventies, I uh, I got a got my lady pregnant. <clears throat> Didn't find out until the wedding when the announcement was made about it, and sure enough, everybody found out at the same time I did. But you know what? I stood up there. I was a man. Yeah. I, I said, "Bring on the babe." <laughs> yeah, okay. okay. A little chuckle, but uh, you know, because the, the the movie, the but. Uh, now, does this does this don't get her pregnant apply to after we're married too? Or is this just a leading up to the big day? Well, I guess that's a question you got to ask yourself. Oh, okay. You like yeah, because I guess, I mean, the grandmother is really involved, so I should always be thinking about, you know, how it's going to affect. Oh. Let me so, tell you something about mother-in-laws. Yeah. Yeah, they're like, they're like ants in an anthill. Okay. Yeah. Just like ants in an anthill. Oh, I thought there'd be more. I'm sorry. I thought there'd be more than that. I guess, I guess they're all it's over like the place. Ants in an anthill. You know what I mean? Ants. You just. You got, a, you got a way about yourself, cuz. You got a way that I, I, I hope you'll, you'll kind of like have my back in there in case I like put my foot in my mouth or something. I, I mean, we're family, right? Um, essentially. Yeah. Yeah. So. I just the the daddy so, of uh, my new cousin cousin niece cousin nephew. Good. That's all. Family. Him. Your your family. Your family. That's right. That's right. So That's right. so whatever happened with that wedding baby you were talking about? Mm. Uh, let's just say uh, mm, she went west. <laughs> Cut to Penelope and Andrew in the kitchen. You know, you don't have to help me out in here, Mom. I think I have everything taken care of. I have the tiny sandwiches. I have the jams. Um, I have the tea, <laughs> of course, and the, the hot water and the lemon. That was really important to Garrett was to have the lemon. Uh, oh, milk, milk, milk. milk you just to the brown black teas the black teas not the herbals I made that mistake that was a mistake thank you for 
coming. Well, Penelope, honestly, you know I didn't come back here to help. And so it's it's funny that you keep talking about the setup when honestly, I'm here to talk about this new love interest of yours. Well, we've been interested for a couple of years. So, you know, that's maybe a 10th of my life total. <laughs> well, well, here's the thing. Um, we, you wrote us a letter when you came mm -hmm. back as you were coming back from Morocco where you've been for the last couple of years and told us that you were bringing Garrett. Garrett. Sounds great. I just love you. What does Garrett do? What does Garrett do for a living? Uh, he experiences life uh, and writes about it. He's been circulating his articles. Nothing has picked up yet, but that's the first several steps I understand to getting published is just getting a lot of practice. So that's what he's been doing. And, and does he have family somewhere? It's small, I understand. And you know, a little bit, he's a little bit separated, not in the legal sense, just he is his own man, which is very attractive. Uh, don't you, you think? You say separated from his family or separated from a wife? What, because that, that sounds like there is a commitment issue there on either, in either direction. I'm into it. We've never uh, discussed that too much. Uh, we made kind of an agreement just to not talk about, you know, former uh, partners. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't know. You know Penelope. Cinnamon sticks. Hmm? Penelope. No, 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 sweetheart. No, no, no. Come, no. I need you. Listen, I know that I am or have always been a bit rough on you as the last of the of my children and so i am trying to say this as kind and as caring as i can I'm like what the what the fuck do you think you're doing this man obviously sounds married could possibly be disconnected from his family which means that you will be the source of income because i don't hear a steady job that he's trying to get his articles he writes about things in life. That sounds like a blog. And you can create a blog website anywhere, anytime, for free. So I don't hear him bringing in any income. Well, you know, it's it's very non-traditional. And I think that is very exciting, Mother, seeing as we are steeped in tradition. Cut, cut okay. to Garrett and Andrea just inside the venue. Um, so I'm honored to meet you. I, I brought you some, some chocolates. Would you, I'll just, I'll, I'll just put them over here. Penelope's told me so much about you. I'm, I'm really honored that you, that you joined us here today. It's going to be a very nice day. I'm, I'm excited. I even brought my own. I'm, I'm a tea guy. I don't know if she told, told you that. I don't tell a lot of people, but my favorite pot. My um, my um, my aunt bought it for me when we were on a, a family trip to uh, to the Cotswolds. So I, I I try to use it as much as I can to honor her. Let me stop you. Okay. It has taken everything within me not to cause you bodily harm. Okay. Oh. Um, I've had a conversation with my daughter and apparently you do not have a steady income. You are not connected with your family and you also may possibly still be <clears throat> legally married. Um, if you were a father mm -hmm. and your child came to you with this situation, how would you respond? Okay. Well, first of all, I'm going to, I just want to 
I am not a father. I'm sure that has crossed your mind. You, my, but my point is, if yeah, you no, were a father. I know, I know. I'm just disabusing you of that notion. Well, I just want I, I do have a steady income. Um, it is through investments and and positions rather than a traditional uh, job. Okay, so yeah. Um, am I separated from my family? Um, we have differences. Some of my siblings and I, and definitely my father and I. Um, but so we we take breaks in order to to let let this you know let the skin heal the wound and then and we we reconvene um i am not married i have never been married that is i i i'm not sure where that came from but i am i am a single man who is fascinated with your your daughter and i just just want to spend as much time as possible with her I also brought some some loose tea. I didn't know what they would have, and I thought I could either use it or gift it to someone here. You know what, Garrett? Yes, ma'am. I am going to go against my better judgment, mm -hmm. and we are going to have a civilized tea, have a Thank civilized you. conversation. Mm -hmm because I, I frequent this establishment quite often. Um, oh. So yeah, I don't want to bring upon any embarrassing situation on myself more importantly, but I am going to, we are going to have a lovely tea and a lovely conversation. So you say that you're not married and I get it. Sometimes I don't want to be around my family. Um, and I'm sure they don't want to be around me all the time because I can be a bit much. I'm sure you've already determined that, but let's just let's just stay in agreement that we will have a lovely civilized team right. I, that's that's that sounds perfect that sounds and perfect. i just want to get to know you better okay okay i want to i i'm i'm an open book i'm an open book that's what Garrett I and penelope near the bathrooms um i survived good I, Good. okay, okay, honey, um, I know you've, t I know you've talked about me and the whole, you know, how, how my money comes in is a little weird and, yeah. and, I and, don't really understand it. So. And my family and, you know, my family, but why does she think I'm married? I said that you were separated from your family and uh, she asked if you were set. We never talked about partners, so I didn't know. So I just I know, said, no, no, I, I don't told, know. No. It could be, it could be you know, the possibilities are endless. I'm not, no, I'm not mad at you. I'm not married. I've never been married. I'm, oh. no, it's, I, I don't, I, I don't want to, I don't want to hear if you have okay. or have. I like the mystery. That, a lot. that reaction was the, oh, I can see how language in the face of that intimidating woman can it can be twisted around oh gosh she, so but you money, survived and i think that's great thank you okay i'll tell let me just tell no you about the money. Ever, sorry. let me tell you about the money real real quick okay just very quick because i want you to know enough that you don't worry okay my father my father he wrote commercial jingles and he gets lots of money from them and one of what them been in two and a half men is that was yes 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 but here's the thing here's the thing that here's the thing that causes the rift one of his most successful ones and i'm legally not allowed to say which one was actually <laughs> no but the, the tune came from something i was singing as a child so it's actually my composition. So he gives me the money so that I stay quiet about which one he, he's a fraud. My father's a fraud and he's, I'm gaining off it. I really have to pee now, I really have to pee. Who is in okay. the bathroom? <laughs> Gotta wash the hands. It's. It's because I think it's one of these. It's the 
worse you, when you just hear I'm, them wash I'm gonna go. Hands I'm gonna go. You, you you talk to Cuz. I'm gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna got sweaty hands. Gross. Oh, I'm glad you're washing your hands, Cuz. Alright. Sorry about that. It's, it's hot and humid up here, Cuz. Let me tell you. Are you kidding? I hear it's humid as hell in Arkansas. Oh yeah, but uh, let me tell you, it's uh. It's like God met the rains up here, because uh, ooh, I have never sweat. I don't know what's going on with our weather lately, you know what I mean? But uh, hot. it's just really hot. Here, I, I'm gonna keep talking to you, but I do need to tinkle. So just, just keep, just talk loud. Just talk loud, I'm come here. On. You mind if I come in or? What, no, yes, I mind if you come in. Okay, <laughs> I'll stand out here. Okay. Uh <laughs> Cuz, are you still there? And Andrea. Oh. Oh, it's good. What are you doing here? Come what are you doing on. here? Come oh. on. Oh, God. <laughs> it is so good to see you. You look like you were born yesterday. Were you? I have a deal with the devil. <laughs> Keeps my skin smooth. <laughs> You still got it. You, it How's my sister? How's my sister? Oh, she's getting a divorce. Oh, not surprised. Tell her she could return my phone call sometime. <laughs> I'll tell her she pays her cell phone bill. <laughs> oh, my goodness. No. I need to give you some money before you leave so you can take to her. Oh. I'll take money, Mom. No, you won't. <laughs> you know what? Have you, have you met Penelope's? fiance uh he's the one with the baby baby on the way right yeah i know i know a man yeah i know him he's a good guy what? good fella let me tell you he's great yeah penelope come out of that stall are you <laughs> yeah. i'm washing my hands oh boy i gotta tell you though i i love the the like i don't we don't drink a lot of tea so obviously but uh these are these are good tea it's got like a got like a hint of uh flour because, uh, because why do you have that that teacup in the bathroom though <laughs> god penelope more importantly does garrett have a baby on the way are you pregnant I, I don't think so, but you know, you can only know for sure after like a couple of months of this period. I haven't missed a period, but I, I, I doubt it. Ah, uh, man, sure sounded like he was pregnant. Yeah, it sounded like a wow. <laughs> Yep, just saying like, when do I tell the mama? When do I tell the mama? Oh, I guess you're the mama. <laughs> I told him not to worry about it though, because you know, you just gotta be a man about it. And he is, he's a man. He's a man. He he's, is a man. Yeah, he's, he's a man. I'm concerned why he would know before me. Hmm? Or, or is it someone else that he's gotten pregnant? Maybe that's what it is. You know, I was this close. I, you know what? I said to myself, I said, Andrea, let's try to do something different. Let's try to think positive from the beginning for a change. And I had just decided to give him a chance. And here he is just slinging it all around town. Oh. Mm. That Arkansas came back up. Just slinging oh, no, it. I heard it. I heard it. I heard it all around town. No, trying, no, no. getting people pregnant. Starting to sound like me, he is. I, I tell you, I see a little bit of myself in him. I, I do, I do. He's a, good, he's a good guy. That does not make me happy. I am going to go find Garrett. Because, how are you? Oh, it's good to see you. Breathe in, breathe in, breathe in. Oh. Boy. It's good to see you. Cut to Garrett wow. and Andrea in the lobby. Oh. Are you? Do you have a child on the way or not? Are you about to be a father? That is a yes no. and no question. No. Oh, my God. I came here. How did I get married and have someone been pregnated? Neither of these things are true. No. No. 
Unless Penelope told you something that she hasn't told me. She is not pregnant. She is not with child. I would know that. I'm her mother. Good. Okay. Then, no. Apparently, you had a conversation with her cousin and led her to believe that you have a child on the way. No, I know. Cause he was telling me about when he knocked up his wife and found out at the altar. And I don't know how I just, I didn't say I knocked any, I got anybody pregnant. I, here, here he, he said to me, he, he said, I asked for, okay, damn it. Yeah. I asked for advice on how to deal with you. And he said, don't get her pregnant. And if you do be a stand up man. And I asked him, does that include after we're married? And I was joking because it's our business after we're married. And I guess he took that for real. I'm sorry. I got to be more careful with my words around your family. First of all, don't you ever insinuate that you would have sexual relations with me. I am a happily married woman. Okay. I have been married for 37 years. Yes. Penelope's no. father, Theodore. Okay. Yes. We are very happy married and we have a very healthy sex life okay thank you very much so my husband theodore does not need any help and having any way to please his wife he is very good at making sure that we have a pleasurable evening when we are together so if i ever find out you have in any way insinuated that you need to step in as a second string quarterback because that is what you will be because you will not be the first string okay and to pleasure me sir not even on your best day do you understand me Oh, Tom Brady was second string at one point. I just want to. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh. I'm sorry. I just. The nerve. I, That's a cousin, Andrea, in the team. <laughs> and Andrea got to know. Come on. It's Theo, Uncle Theo, Cito. Still, uh, you know. Cause I'm so sick of the people asking me about me and Theo. That's none of your damn business. Oh, but it is. Come on now, we're friends. <sighs> I am your aunt. And what yeah, but everybody in the family knows that Theo's been seeing those ladies, uh, those famous ladies. Actually, that weren't they uh, related to the Kardashians? I want those, those, those ladies that that he was saying at one point the kardashians i think yeah Great. just because chris kardashian or jenner or whatever name she is using on this day and i happen to frequent the same country club does not mean that theodore was having relations with them as i told garrett we are very happily married and have been for 37 years okay, okay. Yeah, but we all got the accidental email that he sent to the whole family that, uh, you know, he meant to write. That was an April Fool's joke. Oh. Oh, shoot. Boy, I am the most gullible little son of a bitch that I ever met, I guess, because I, I fell for it. I felt, I, I'm so stupid. I felt, I felt when, right. When are you leaving? When are you leaving? When are you leaving? Well, when? Picture, though, he sent that picture, though, of, uh, you know, his, uh, was that a, was that really his, uh, we all, I still saved, I saved it to be honest. Why know? did you save a picture? I pulled up right now, I saved it. <laughs> oh, look. Oh, there he is, big man. G, daddy on the way. Just got to pick up this picture. Come on, Aunt Andrea, it's not that big of a deal. Everybody's got a little lady on the side. Come on.
cut to Andrea and Garrett at their house. What? Do you need help? No, I'm here just to help you and Andrea. I mean, I'm sorry, Penelope. Okay. I'll be staying here for a little while while she is pregnant. Okay. I, I know. I'm just. If, do you need help getting moved in? That's. I just meant that. Do you need help getting set up or? <sighs> Garrett, this is embarrassing enough that I have had to move from my home and into you and Penelope's hmm. house. So please, I, I can take care of things myself. Okay. okay. Don't. I just and I just encourage you. It's our house. Don't think it's. The hour is in all of us. Don't think that it's Penelope's and mine that you're staying in. I want you, your your family, and we 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 take care of each other as a group. I do want to thank you, Garrett. This has been a really tough year on me, and I'm, um, you 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 were uh, quick to judge me, and I I don't blame you for that. Um, you know, sometimes things just aren't always as they seem. But you know, we worked I worked things out with my dad, and I'm you know we're co-publishers now of all his music, and I really I don't I don't have to work unless I want to, so I can just take care of Penelope and you and the baby and that's all i want to do that is very kind of you i won't be here long though because the divorce will be final in a couple of months and i will get a nice little settlement and i'll be able to move to my own little place but unfortunately things are tied up right now so i'm a little stressed and... i know i know legal i know how the legal system works it is my time but remember this is going to be Andrea's room. This is not the guest room. This is Andrea's room for eternity. You can come here anytime you want, whenever, whether you just want to get out, get out, a little vacation, you can come here. See? Family. That's a Penelope and Garrett in the kitchen. Mom seems yeah. to be making herself at home. Yeah, I was welcoming her, telling her, you know, she can just that it's the house is for all of us, not just it's not just our. Oh, honey, honey, it's your mom. Listen, yeah. you know, all right. The more I act like we want her here all the time, the less she's gonna want to come here all the time. Okay, you know how she is. She wants to be in charge. So if I'm like, you can come here anytime, she's not going to come. And she's, because she's, I, I feel like that's a dangerous, dangerous game you're playing, babe. I, right. I feel like she is going to outmaneuver whatever mind tricks you think you're playing on her. She had how many of us? Five, right? Right. She had like figured everything out by the time it got to me. She is just this like steel machine of like computer brain. And I, I, get, I get it, I get and, it. And okay. any, any humanity she had still, like this divorce with my father just, I I, I know, it's, it's okay. Look, it's not like, it's not like she's dragging out these proceedings so she can stay here forever. It's not, that's, no. okay, we're gonna keep on top of it. I. I'll keep on, make sure she gets to her. Oh, hey, Andrea, hi. how are you? Hi, Penelope, darling. I was just gonna move in some of my tea sets in the for the dinette set, if that's okay. I thought I'd get rid of that old dinette and get you guys a new one, if that's okay. Okay. Um, I'm gonna move it. And also, also don't be alarmed if you hear some banging. I scheduled some renovators to come in because I wanted to add a deck to my bedroom. I like to be able to get the natural sunlight coming in, okay? All right. Take time in 10 minutes. <laughs> you know, we needed a deck. Um, cousin, cousin Andrea. Do, 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 do. 
Yeah, but I, I, I was telling him, you know, like, those, that lady ain't worth it. You know what I mean? Like, I swear she already has another husband. I don't know why he's with her. Uh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter at all, honey. <laughs> I, I mean, his ding dong go where it, it goes wherever, wherever it calls him. You know what I mean? That's just Uncle Theo. Has nothing to do with you. Oh, I know. <laughs> you don't have to tell me that, sweetheart. I already know. <laughs> yeah. Yes, honey. I am fit. I am in shape. My skin is smooth. Okay. <laughs> My doctor recently told me I have the body of a 30 year old. I said, darling, darling, 60 is the new 30. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. You know, I'm having some things done to uh, Penelope and Garrett's house just to give it a few upgrades while I'm there. I won't be there very long, but I'm just going to do a few upgrades just until I can get the accounts unfrozen. I had them frozen, so Theodore couldn't do much with that trollop that he was with. All right. Andrea, you, uh, you gotta be careful now. You're gonna drive her away. Drive her away faster than a Ford truck drives away from a angry horde of deers, if you know what I mean. Cause leave those little sayings in Arkansas, please. No one, no one cares for them anymore. <laughs> And me and Penelope are tighter than ever. I mean, of course I could have gone to her sister's home. I could have gone to Chastity's home. I could have gone to Hyacinth's home. But they are so settled in with their families. I didn't want to disrupt. Penelope's a new mom and she needs her mother. She needs me. <laughs> she doesn't need you that much. You might think she needs you because you think that she needs you. You know what I mean? Cut to Cuz and Garrett in the backyard. Here, here. Oh, take, take, you want? Oh, oh. listen, you got to. I don't. I don't do this. Don't. Oh, okay. You got to no, get her. Out. You got to get her out of here. You got to get her out of here. And Andrew? Yeah. Yeah, she's delightful. I mean, she she's sweeter than a peach on top of a cherry pie. You don't. You don't see those often. You know what I mean? All right, I, I know I've taken a couple hits. Did you say a peach on top of a cherry pie? Yeah, a peach on top of a cherry pie. You is this know? is this a whole peach or sliced up? I don't know, man. Too much. Okay, I just got the munchies. I'm just saying, we 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 need we need some privacy. We can't have her around here. I know she, things are bad for her, but. <laughs> Now, what I tell you about being a man? Hmm? A man stands by his mother-in-law. No, no, no. A man does not stand by his mother-in-law. What the hell are you yes, talking about? He does. About? Yes, he does. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, I lived with my mother-in-law until, until the day she went and up and took my money and actually yeah, yeah. off with the pretty much all of it, which is why I'm, uh, why I'm here, but that's besides the point. You don't, you don't leave your mother-in-law in the dust, all right? She needs you. Look, I'm not saying I want to leave her in the dust. I just don't need her up in our business all the time, all right? You take her to Hyacinth or Chastity's, you know, figure, figure something out. I mean, that's all, you just visit family member to family member. That's, that's Man, these cousins are long gone, man. Garrett, Garrett, darling. I, do you need this uh this foosball table i'm gonna move it my dear i'm gonna i'm gonna move um, it out um no, just put it in a corner we'll get to it oh, by corner do you mean trash nobody nobody is gonna come up well she I, might as well I, get rid I, of it I'll, no. I'll take the foosball table and andrea don't don't throw it away don't throw it away Listen. what hey i'm here i'm here i'll pay you to take her away okay you know i got money now we're good I'll pay you to take her away. I mean, are you serious? You pay me? How yeah. much you pay me? Cut to Penelope and Andrea in the rec room. Mom, you 
you have always known exactly what you want and need and now you're getting it and you look really good and I look like recycled zombie flesh that's been like mushed back together. It... And I liked Garrett more before he had all of this money. And now I feel like I'm tied down to him and you get to live your life free of dad and it's like you're rubbing it in my face. What? Why would I rub that in your face? Why would I do that, Penelope? This is a very painful process to be going through. Why would I want to see you go through the same pain that I'm, ex I'm experiencing? Why would I want to do that? <sighs> Listen, if, if I, I thought that you all wanted me here, I, I could have gone to a hotel. I could have perhaps gotten a rental, a, a house or, or an apartment or something. Yeah, I, I don't Listen, if yeah, you want I, to go, I, I'll leave. Don't worry, I'll leave. <laughs> Apparently, my presence here is causing you stress and I don't want to do that. Excuse me for being your mother and taking care of you while you were in and out of the continent, in and out of the house, in and out of jobs, in and out of our bank account. But excuse me for needing my daughter for just a few moments while I get things straightened out. Your, your father left me. So, but excuse me, excuse me. I'll pack my thing. I, I, I mean, you, you told me to say my piece and I said it, um, but I, I like having you here, even though. No, you don't. I. No, you don't. Okay, fine, fine, fine. Maybe I don't, but I. Yeah. Say I that. I don't like you it. Don't. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. But maybe I need it because I am the youngest of five and I tried to make my own way and I wasn't equipped to. And now I am in an arrested development and I need my mom, even though I don't like it. So who, who knots their pants this many times? Who does this? Cut to uh, Penelope and Garrett up in the bedroom. Seriously, we can just build her, her own house. I have enough money. You know, I can just, I didn't think of it at first, but I just build her her own house. And that's just you and me. And the baby. I, just. I don't like that either. Ugh, just, she... See if she what? even likes that. I don't think she. I don't think she would like that anyway. Um, what? What's going on? Like what's you she just... gonna do with her? What's she gonna do with her own house? Not be here in all our business. I worked really hard for her to like me, so that I didn't have to deal with her. I hate to oh, say I it. Were <laughs> what were you? What do you think I was gonna say? I thought you were going to say you worked really hard on your <laughs> on your song that you wrote when you were a kid because no. kids write stupid songs and your dad had the connections to <laughs> do you want me do you, do you want me to get a job just so I can leave and you can say my husband has a job is that what you want i don't know we have a house we have enough money to do whatever we want to you know to an extreme i mean we're not what do we want uh, what do we what do we even want like my mom has a clear idea of what she she wants to build a deck she wants to get rid of the foosball table she wants to redo the basement bar yeah. Bar so let's let her do that in her place and let's us figure out our shit here together in this house. I'm sorry. I, I, I solved all that stuff with my family and I finally like start to feel good about things. And I know it's hard having the baby. I'm trying to help. Do 
you want me? Do you want me to be like Cuz? I don't. I, I don't know what Cuz is like. I mean, he just shows up. But oh, hey, Andrew. Hey, Mom. I was listening outside the door. I was listening. Um, well, do you want your own house, Mom? Actually, I'm sick. And I've been trying to find a way to tell you all that, but apparently, since I get on your nerves so much, um, never mind. I'm sorry you heard. I'm sorry you heard that. It's okay. No, don't be sorry. She heard that. We were. I. I uh, everything is out now. Everything is in the open except what you're sick from. Mom, what are you sick from? Are you? Don't, are don't you worry about sick it. right don't now? Don't, are you sick forever? No, I'm sick right you're now. Terminal. Okay. And it's terminal. But don't worry about me. Don't worry about me. I'm going to move today. I'm going to get out of your life. No, 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 no. no just wait, moved wait. in all the t-shirts. No. As a matter of fact, go on as if I was still on the other side of the door and continue to talk about me. We got it. We got to get the right doctors for her. We got to get the right doctors for her. If it's terminal, it's terminal. I liked it better when like you didn't know anything about me and just wanted it to be mysterious. I like that too. I like that too. Oh, I, I found the picture. There he is. Oh, what the God. fuck? No, That's your no. Uncle Theo right there. No. There it is. No. You see that? That's your Uncle Theo. Oh. And Andrew. Oh. Probably seen that a million times. But hang on. I told you I saved it. <laughs> Cause stop showing it to us. Oh boy, that's a, that is a hairy little something. Tell you. Did you hook up with my dad? Like, why would you save it? I'm save. Why would I not save it? Is a real question. Oh, oh God, my I'm. I'm, I'm it. <laughs> stop it. Stop showing that thing brought me great pleasure. You get up. You know what? My bad, uh, dude. Oh, cause I mean, I don't, I don't. Agree you must not you. be ticklish, Andrea. <laughs> Stop. I, I don't agree with you showing us that so many times, but we needed a laugh. I think. We did. Why? I, I've been getting on everyone's nerves, and this, you know what? I, while. I am going through, uh, we'll talk about what's going on with me, but I am going to give you all your space. You all deserve that. And if I've given it to your sisters, I owe it to you as well. Um, I know that you love me and Garrett, I know I gave you a hard time, but you all deserve to have your own space. So don't take it as an affront that I'm leaving. It's, it's simply that I do need to be in my own environment and I need to do this on my own. With the support of you, I know you all will support me, but I need to do it in my own space. I think I'm going to start like actually working on music, like for real. You do that. You're very talented. Very well, talented. Thank you. thank you. And cuz we will talk about your finances and get you together as well. All right. All right. I'm all right. Yeah. Penelope, you're going to make a great mother. Absolutely. Absolutely. Show that, show that picture one more time. That's her show. Get a tender, you'll get it up. No, that's oh, her show. There she, there she is. Oh, yes. oh my God. We're good. Is that dog? Yeah. What is what is it? It's no, no filter, y'all. <laughs> no filter. That's Uncle Theo right there. <laughs> You're on a show with that. Over. <laughs> it's so furry. <laughs> Thank you for watching, everyone, even as Sam.
defiled the internet with whatever that was. Oh my God. There's worse. There's worse. Um, we, we are Dreamweaver. We perform here the second Tuesday of every month. We also perform on How Our Improv on, I forget what Saturday it is because we're switching <laughs> seasons. But um, you can follow, uh, check us out here on Socially Distant and on High Wire. Thank you to Socially Distant for having us and to Kim for being such great support of everything we're doing. Uh, everybody take care, have a good night, and we'll see you soon. Bye.